Yo, what's going on? Today's video, I got how to make a battlegrounds game. I believe this is part nine to the series and stuff. Can't believe we're about to be in the double digits. And also, thank you for all the love and support you guys shown on the battlegrounds series. The part, part one of the battlegrounds series is by the time by the time you guys are watching this, it is at a hundred thousand views. So thank you all for that. I really do appreciate it and stuff. But yeah. So part nine, this would be like a 10 15 minute video. This is just gonna cover the cooldown system and stuff. Um, as well as just a few bug fixes with the dash system um yeah, i think that's it oh the dash system and the hitboxes so it includes the bug fixes in the cooldown system so yeah let me know if there's anything i'm missing because in all honesty i've been thinking and i'm like i'm not really sure what else i could really add to the battleground series so let me know in the comments what you guys want but yeah let's go ahead and get straight into it okay so um i was ho i'm hoping you guys are paying attention in the last video because i honestly set up some of the cooldown stuff in the um <clears throat> in part eight so in part eight if you recall in the character folder and you open up the character uh, one of the characters and you go to the skills you know it's a number value inside of the skill um its name is cooldown and then the value is set to how how many seconds uh the cooldown will be i already explained this in part eight and stuff but if you didn't make it and stuff if you didn't see part eight or if you missed this part whatever then just go ahead and insert a number value into the skill folder name it cooldown name all make sure all of them are named the same and then set the values to whatever the cooldown is for that individual skill right and then um that's really it for that we can get to the script so let's first go to the uh, local core script we will literally be here for like the span of like two three minutes okay so we're just going to go down and find the core event on client event function um, we're gonna go down here. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna show you go up. Make sure I go out of the if statement. So what I'm gonna say is I'm gonna say else if right event type is equal to cooldown enter. And here is what we are going to do, right? We're going to say we're gonna create two variables first. Cooldown is equal to arg one. So argument number one will be the cooldown duration. And then we're gonna get the skill number, so we know which one uh, skill number is equal to argument number. Since we know which um which text label we are doing the uh, cooldown effect over, so we're gonna create that. Then create a variable for the skill text label. So we're gonna get that. So skill text label is equal to hotbar gy dot hotbar frame on first child. In quotation marks, we're gonna say skill dot 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 skill number. Here's how we can find the specific skill text label. Dot, dot, dot quotation marks text label right because remember we all named it the same so after that you're then going to set up the cooldown tween so we're going to say local cooldown local cooldown tween oh my bad local cooldown tween is equal to ts create then for the instance we're going to of course put the skill text label then here's a comma tween info dot new as for the duration, you're going to put the cooldown because this is the duration. Comma enum dot easing style dot linear. Comma enum dot easing direction dot out. Comma between the uh, parentheses, and then you're going to say uh, in special brackets you're going to say size is equal to udm two dot new. Right. Wait. Oh my fault. My fault. I, I did. I did kind of wrong. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to. Sorry. 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 Okay, so sorry, not this. We're doing skill text table, but then we gotta create the cooldown text table. I don't know if we created that. I honestly don't remember. You guys see it's almost three in the morning, so this is my fault. I don't think I created it. Okay, yeah, I didn't create it. Okay, so here's what we gotta do. We have to create the cooldown effect. You guys know when you're playing a battlegrounds game and you use a skill, you know how like there's like a red, red I think it's like a red, I believe it's like a red square, or is it just grayed out? But you guys know how there's like a usually like a square and stuff over and stuff in it and like it starts at the top and then like slowly goes to the bottom and that's how you know you're on cooldown and uh when you're able to use the ability so yeah we're going to create something like that real quick so we can really duplicate this the skill text level right so control d just like with the key bind you're going to put it inside of that skill text level right and then you got to make sure you name and then you got to make sure you name this skill cooldown text label so skill cooldown text label you don't have to give it any specific name so because we're trying to we're trying to save time here so what I'm just gonna do is uh what I'm just gonna do is name them all the same. So skill cooldown text label, right? So you put it inside. Um we're gonna of course do 50 by 50. And of course you want it to be um or whatever the size of your regular text label is. What is it? What's the size? You like your layout, what is the size? Oh 60 by 50, okay. So I'm gonna adjust the size to 60 by 50, right? 
so i wanted to be over it so what you're going to do is right you're going to make the background color a nice red and stuff to display that you know you're on cooldown right so what you're going to do from here is you're going to set the size to um zero i think i believe it's uh i think i believe it is zero by zero i think yeah yeah i want to say zero by zero yeah i'm gonna yeah, yeah so zero by zero okay so yeah that's what we're gonna do so by default it should be zero by zero then you can just duplicate this so control d control d then you're just gonna throw them into the other text variable so control d boom skill four skill three and skill two boom right and then we have our cooldown text labels and then obviously you know you want to make sure that they are over the correct one and stuff which i believe they yeah they, yeah they seem to be um not totally sure why there's a oh oh my fault delete the keybind portion if you accidentally uh or not or if you forgot to delete it because i forgot to delete it when i copy and pasted it so let me do that delete that the keybind inside of the cooldown okay so yeah then we come back here right and we need to set the size before we set before we do the tween so what we're going to do is we're going to say skill text label dot size is equal to udm or skill text oh sorry sorry skill text label dot skill cooldown text label and you're going to say that size is equal to udm2 dot new then in parentheses, you're going to set it to whatever the size is for it to cover the whole um, uh, skill text label. So pretty much whatever size your UI grid layout is. So this, the cell size, that's what, you, that's what you're trying to do. So we can really just copy and paste, control C and control V and then just delete the special brackets. Boom, boom, and boom. Right, that's what we're trying to do. So I did this by, ne so I put negative. I'm not sure if I, yeah, I put negative. So I believe that should work. And stuff but yeah then we go down here so for this what we're just doing we're gonna hit udm2 parentheses and literally you're just gonna do 0 comma 60 comma 0 comma 0 so that's simple then we're gonna say cooldown tween play we're gonna play the cooldown tween right and then that's it so from here um that's really for local script we can then move on to the server script okay so moving on to the core server script so i'm going to fix um i'm just literally just here just to fix a dash bug and stuff so um there was so someone brought this to my attention so shout out to them uh let me see actually hold on let me pull up that person's username and stuff so i could because i took a screenshot i remember i took a screenshot of it so shout out to tony makaluf 3945 and stuff they're the ones that actually found this bug with the dash system to where like if you reset your character or died or whatever and stuff the dash system would no longer work that's because this function was only set up for the original character we didn't put it for, into the player character added so you're just going to select all of that control c and then just control v just paste them about paste it down here instead of the character added function so that it also uh, applies to the future characters whenever a player dies resets whatever the case then head over to leader stats and then all we got to do is just create some skill cooldown uh values here's how we keep track of whether or not the player is on cooldown and stuff right like i'm saying on the module script is going to check if you recall again we did this in part eight if we open the, mo the modules combat script right and we go down you guys will see um when we go to find one of the skills you guys will see if player skill we're about to create this portion right here we're about to create that right and then I showed you guys, you would put your skill code, you would put your skill code uh, here. You would change the character's attack status um, and stuff like that. The cooldown stuff is handled right here, though, as you can clearly see. So, yeah, like I said, we did all this in part eight. If you don't, if you didn't, if you weren't paying attention, then I'll give a brief rundown. Check to see if the player's cooldown is at the true. If it is, it'll return or uh, also their, their combat status and stuff to prevent them from using a skill if it's currently on cooldown. Then if it's not, then it will retrieve the cooldown, set the value go to true we'll let the player know it's uh that the skill is on cooldown and we'll set up we'll set up a delayed function so that uh it sets it back to false after the cooldown duration now moving back to leader stat scripts we're going to create for these so we're going to say local skill one cooldown naming is very important you guys can probably already tell the naming status or the just the, the way we're naming things so is equal to instance that new of course it's just a simple bool value so parent this to the player right now we're just gonna say skill one cooldown dot name is equal to skill one cooldown right enter and then you're going to say skill one cooldown dot value is by default equal to false 
and then you're literally just going to copy and paste this so just select it control c and then control v control v control v and then just change them so this is two this is three and this is four now you would need to do this for all your skills i don't know if maybe you guys have five or something i mean most people's games just have four so yeah then just control oh my bad control c control v control v control v control c control v control v control v and then control c control v control v and control v all right that's simple and then we can uh, go down here and i'm fixing another issue and so this is a big issue that people have uh, uh complained about in regards to the combat hitbox video the m1 video as well as the battleground series and stuff if you've experienced hitbox inconsistencies to where like you spawn into the game and the hitbox sometimes or all the time spawns like away from the player the reason that it would that that would be happening is because of this i made the mistake of welding the hitbox to the um characters the character's two minute root part before i set the hitbox's c frame the issue with that was pretty much it was welding the hitbox even though the hitbox wasn't our it, like the hitbox was pretty much just created in the workspace but it wasn't set to the uh player's c frame the character's human root part c frame which is done here so what we have to do is move this down here so control c we're just going to weld it after we set it c frame control v and that should fix the issue in case anyone was experiencing any issues with that i apologize for it taking so long to um for me to um address that in one of the videos but yeah so let's go ahead and test to make sure everything works. I believe it should, but I'm a little iffy about the cooldown thing though, like the UI display. As always, if you guys want access to any one of my scripts or models, you guys can become either a channel member or a Discord subscriber. Link to either one of those options can be found in the description as always and stuff. So yeah, let's go ahead and get straight into it. Okay. So if I press one, okay, that's strange. First two, three, okay. Well, that's strange, okay. So first and foremost, okay. So if you're experiencing the same thing right if it if it's working perfectly fine for you then okay you're good now if it just did the same thing it did for me then what that means we got to remove this negative because it's going in the wrong direction it went up instead of down and then another th another issue um oh my bad right here skill text table then do skill cooldown text label there we go there we go my bad i had forgotten to um add that in once we, once we finished okay so if i press one there we go there we go as you guys can see and stuff if i use the skills right and then as you can see it's not starting over because i'm on cooldown so it's not letting me use the skills obviously you know if there was a, if this was an actual game you'd see skills in progress but yeah so boom so that's the make a skill cooldown system and stuff then we fix some bugs like i said in the beginning of the video let me know if there's anything else you guys want me to cover in the battle battleground series like i don't know if part 10 i could cover the i already have an emote system made for battlegrounds games so i could cover that for part 10 y'all just let me know what y'all want to see and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video keep showing the series love and support and i'll continue dropping more on my videos thank you for watching i'll see you guys in the next video